Her Majesty and the Wolves, take one. Take two <laughs> well, now. Actually, take two. <laughs> right. First time I didn't know how to do the collab board. Anyway, Kimberly Wyatt and Spencer Neasy from Her Majesty and the Wolves, brilliant to have you in Glasgow. And it's fantastic. I mean, we, we know you very well, Kim, from uh, your previous work with Pussycat Dolls and Got to Dance and now this as well. And Spencer, you've been making beats all along, all, just yeah, all yeah. your life as well. Just a musician, always making music. Yeah, you know? what was it that uh, made you decide to get together on this? Because what? we're both awesome. <laughs> well, that helps, doesn't well, it? Put. I think we were, I was working on a lot of music, just trying to find my kind of musical journey, my musical path, and working with different producers. But a mutual friend of ours introduced us, and we hung out and just connected on kind of a personal, friendly level. And we got in the studio. It just it, it clicked as well, and it felt right. And um, Spencer called me about a week later and asked if I'd be interested in doing some sort of duo together. And I jumped at the idea because this boy is so talented. I mean, it's great, you've got a really cool sort of clubby sound going on, a bit of electro in there, a bit of strong beats and everything. Was the idea to get as far away from the Pussycat Dolls as possible? I, I don't think that was the intention. My intention was just to make great music, and my ears went to Spencer, really. And when I heard the kind of music that he was making, it just felt like, this is what I want to do, I want to be a part of it. Yeah, and um, yeah, it all started with that, really. Now, it's an exciting time for you because you've got the album coming out very soon, 111. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you've got the new single as well coming out on the 30th of May. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, Goodbye, Good Night. Goodbye, Good Night. It's, like uh, it's kind of like an anthem record, like me and my boy, a guy that was working with us on the album named Nick Furlong. Um, him and I were like talking about some stuff and kind of came up with the chorus. And, and um, once Kim got back from the States, you know, she did her verse, I did my verse, finished the bridge, and went back a couple more times to polish the song, and it just became, you know, this whole kind of anthem representing a, just an awesome night out. The thing is, you've got um, you've got the album and the single coming out, and you're also going to be appearing, we are, we are proud to announce today, at Tea in the Park. Yay! Yay! This year at Bellado. Now, you've never been before, have you? No. Never been, but I mean... I remember in the beginning when we started making music and getting into the album, Spencer and I went to Coachella together, which is a festival back near uh, Los Angeles. And you know, being around those type of people, just creative people out there to have fun and, and live in the moment, enjoying great music. Well, we both kind of went to the Jay-Z tent and then went to the Dead Mouse tent. We saw these two worlds. We That's the beautiful thing about Pacers. You can go from one to the other. It's all within the short You got the time. best of everything. And I think that's kind of really what inspired our album, 111. And, and, um, and the music within it. So now that we get to bring it to life at the festivals that we made music for, it's just as, as everything we've been working towards. What kind of set can the people expect at Tea in the Park? Are we going to see lots of fab costumes and, you know, a bit of the old movement that happened? <laughs> I feel like it's all kind of coming together organically. You know, Her Majesty and the Wolves, the name Spencer came up with, it really lends itself to kind of a conceptual possibility and I think with the live show we really want to create an experience for people to remember and I think that um, you know visuals is a big part of it we've already got the music nailed in so now it's about building from that and creating the stories surrounding it so that people can really feel the music in more ways than one. So Kim the thing is when uh, we heard that you were coming here today the guys in the office um, thought that it would be a good idea if you gave me some dance tips. <laughs> You've obviously seen my dancing and uh, they're not too sure about it so uh, how about showing me some moves and Spencer you know maybe you can show me a few too just you know. I really have any Some moves. of those. That's, that's all her department. Right, okay. Up and down the clapperboard here. <laughs> I think mean, that's a move in itself. I would say something True. simple, you okay. know, like find your grounding. Okay, start with the right foot. Okay. And kick it to the side. To kick. Now you're going to step back. Left. Side. Front. Front. Now you're going to kick on your left. <laughs> back. So easy when you do Side. Front. Kick. Back. Side. Front. Now, just to Kick. say, you actually offered Back. Lady Gaga dance Side. lessons, didn't you, when she was right. doing No, I did not offer. I said we should take classes together. Oh, together. <laughs> Somebody else teaching. Oh. Lady's a great dancer. In her own. Lady Gaga is a great dancer in her own right. But this is actually called a kick, um, pata, boo, mm -hmm. ray. Kick, kick, pata, pata boo, ray. Oops. Kick. <laughs> I'm getting too cocky then. <laughs> Oh, you're going to show us some high kicks here. Oh, I don't have the pants on. Oh, <laughs> I heard you can do the splits in the day. 
I don't really have the pants on, but I could probably get about that way. Let's see what you got. Okay. That was that. That was that right? right? I have to do the other one. I've got to do the other one. On you go. No, you can't do it. See, now you can do a nice big giant kick and then go for the pot and then be A nice big giant kick. Oh, that is not giant. Okay, we'll get there in the end. So listen, come back into the fold, Spence. Okay, you guys done? We're done. Next tutorial. Oh. We've now got the camera, right? Now you told me this earlier. Tea in the park. We're going to be in Balado. You're going to be coming straight from Oxygen, mm -hmm. but you're performing, I think, on the Saturday. Mm -hmm. And after you've performed the Sunday, this is what you told me we were going to do. We're going to chill out afterwards. We're going to party, and we're going to camp over together. Camping. Us. Rockstar stuff. The theme was at least maybe more. I say if you're gonna do the festivals, you gotta do it right. Camping it is all good. It's all good. Part of that experience. So we're gonna do it in the tent. Done. Yeah. Done. High five. High five. High ten. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs>